Hi, my name is Garrett Kranz. I'm a product manager at Hearth and Home Technologies. In this video, we're going to cover troubleshooting the IntelliFire app. We'll cover the two main issues you might experience and how to resolve them. So when we're troubleshooting the IntelliFire app, there's really two main issues you might encounter. The first one is an error called Appliance Offline, and the second one is an error called ECM Offline. First, let's take a look at what we would do in the Appliance Offline error condition. So the first thing we'll want to double check is the Wi-Fi module connected to the internet at the moment or not. And one of the easiest ways to do that is to look for the LED light that's on the Wi-Fi module itself. This fireplace in front of me is an 8K. Uh, it's one of our largest gas fireplaces. I can't, from the top of it, make out whether the LED light on the unit is solid or flashing. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take off our decorative front I'm going to set that over to the side. And what we're going to look for down here is if the light is flashing or solid. So when the light is flashing, that's going to mean that it is disconnected from the internet. And that is why the appliance offline error condition is occurring. So the easiest thing to do for this would just to be cycling power on the unit itself. So right here is our ECM. This is the main fireplace controller. On the top of it is a three position switch that we can move to the middle position which will cut power to the controller. You can see the lights went out, they're no longer blinking or solid. I'm gonna give this about 10 to 15 seconds to power down and then I'm gonna go ahead and power it back up and see if it reconnects. You might see some lights flashing in the fireplace. You'll hear some beeping activity from the controller. What we're going to look for now is this to start flashing and then go solid. Alrighty, so um, as we can see here, this light is now solid. That's going to indicate to us that the Wi-Fi module has regained connection after I cycled power on the controller. Um, let's say, you know, this unit's pretty easy to access the electronics and it's, it just requires removing the decorative front. Um, say you have a unit that does not um, have as easy access to electronics. Uh, in that case, what we'd want to do instead of trying to get inside to verify the LED status is to instead access your home's internet router and verify if the Wi-Fi module is connected as a connected device. Our Wi-Fi module is going to appear on your wireless network as Zentry with a Z OS. So that's the Wi-Fi chip that's inside these units. If you see a Zentry OS and it is connected to your router, I would also recommend power cycling the fireplace. Um, in the case that you don't have access to the interior here, the easiest way to power cycle your fireplace is going to be accessing the breaker switch for that area of your home. If you're unsure of which breaker it is that controls the fireplace, I'd recommend using the main breaker to just cut power entirely. Again, wait that 10 to 15 seconds and then restore power. All right, so in the third and final case uh, in which you've reset power to the fireplace, you've also checked your internet router for the Wi-Fi module having a connection or not. Let's say you've done both of these things, the Wi-Fi module is not on your router as a connected device. What we're gonna have to do next is reset the Wi-Fi module, and that will require access to the interior of the fireplace. So on our ECM, there is a physical button here to the left-hand side. It's near the Wi-Fi module's light. We're gonna press and hold that button, it's called the pilot button, for 10 to 15 seconds. While you're holding, the ECM should begin beeping. This light is gonna change color and begin flashing. Give that about 30 seconds to perform the reset, and what you're gonna do is check on your phone or tablet if you see an IntelliFire network, a Wi-Fi network, that would mean the reset was successful and you're just gonna set it up like it was a new device. Reasons we do this would include like changing your router or changing your internet password or your internet Wi-Fi name. Um, if you perform the reset and you are not seeing an IntelliFire network appear, that would mean that the Wi-Fi module hardware has failed and we'll be happy to help you out with a replacement. You'll just need to get in touch with us if that's the case. The second most common error that you may experience when using the IntelliFire app is referred to as the ECM offline error. 
This is a little bit different than the appliance offline error in the sense that your Wi-Fi module actually is connected to the internet. You would see it as a connected device in your router. It's otherwise functioning as it should, except for there's an issue in the final leg of its journey when it transmits a command to your ECM inside the fireplace. So in the case of an ECM offline, what we're going to see, when we send commands to the fireplace, for example, I'm going to send a lights on command here, what we're going to see is this light will flash red briefly indicating the command was received. The ECM is going to emit a beep and then whatever I told it to do is going to happen. In this case, I told it to cut on the lights. In an ECM offline error state, the Wi-Fi module will still change color indicating the command was received but the ECM will not beep and the lights, for in this case, would not turn on. So in an ECM offline uh, error state, the first thing you'd wanna do to resolve that is power cycle the fireplace. So again, I'm gonna use the uh, three position switch here because it's easily accessible. If I cut it off, wait 10 to 15 seconds, and then cut it back on, this is gonna clear the ECM offline error temporarily. Now it's very likely this error is gonna come back and I'll talk more about how to fix that uh, right now. All right, so we cycled power on the ECM. Uh, this is gonna clear that ECM offline error state temporarily, like I mentioned. Um, the first thing we'll wanna do if you're experiencing this issue is double check if there's an update available for your Wi-Fi module. So within our IntelliFire app, how you're gonna do that is you go to the main screen where you control your fireplace. The lower right-hand corner has a gear slash cog icon and it'll say other. If you click into that, you're gonna see an upgrade firmware button. Now, if that's grayed out, that means you're up to date. If it's orange, that means there's an update available for you, and that update does help with the ECM offline issue. Um, it does not fully resolve that issue, but you're gonna to wanna to try to update and see what kind of impact that has on the issue. If it turns out that you've updated and you continue to experience an ECM offline issue, we definitely want to help you out with that. The, the only way to fix that is going to be swapping the ECM and we're making a service part available for you to do that. You'll want to check out our other YouTube video on swapping an ECM for more specific instructions on that, but that would be the one way to fully resolve the ECM offline issue and permanently as well.